Hello, Holiday Heroes. Welcome back to World Traveler Wednesday with Miss Rosie. Today, we are traveling to Egypt. About 5,000 years ago, the civilization of ancient Egypt began in the Nile Valley, the Nile River Valley of Northeastern Africa. Ancient Egypt was one of the world's first civilizations. It is also one of the most famous civilizations in history. The ancient Egyptians built huge pyramids, temples, palaces, and tombs. Their paintings and carvings are some of the most impressive to have ever been created. They also produced art with simple scenes of everyday life, work, and play that shows many details of their lives. Egypt's dry climate has helped to preserve many of the things that the ancient Egyptians made. Archaeologists first started to uncover Archaeologists first started to uncover the remains of ancient Egypt in the late 1700s. Through those remains, historians have been able to learn a great deal about the world of the ancient Egyptians. Egypt is a large country in northern Africa. The capital of Egypt is called Cairo. Egypt is a transcontinental country. The Sinai Peninsula forms a land bridge between the African and the Asian continents. The country shares borders with Israel, Libya, Sudan, and the Gaza Strip, which is Palestine. The largest city of Egypt is Cairo, with about 21 million people living in the metropolitan area. Cairo is the second largest city on the African continent, just after Lagos in Nigeria. Egypt's northern coast is on the Mediterranean Sea, and its eastern coast is on the Red Sea. The Nile River flows northward into the Mediterranean. It fans out into the Nile Delta, a triangular area at the mouth of the river. The Nile divides Egypt into the Western and the Eastern Desert. The Western Desert is a low-lying and generally flat area, and the Eastern Desert has rolling hills and mountains in the Southeast. To the Northwest is the Sinai Peninsula, the only land bridge between Asia and Africa. The Suez Canal separates Sinai from the rest of Egypt. Most of Egypt's landscape is dominated by deserts. A few oases sit in the desert, which are little small areas where you can typically find water. Egypt and Sudan are the easternmost countries of the Sahara Desert. Egypt's climate is mainly hot and dry. Rainfall occurs in the winter months when even snowfalls can be expected on the mountain sides of the Sinai Peninsula. The highest mountain in Egypt is Mount Catherine with 8,625 feet. The highest mountain of Egypt is located on the Sinai Peninsula. Nearby, St. Catherine's Monastery is one of the oldest working monasteries in the entire world. Giza Necropolis is on the Giza Plateau near the city of Cairo. The pyramid complex of Giza is only eight miles from Cairo and can even be seen from the city. Could you imagine looking outside your window and seeing that pyramid just right outside? The pyramids and the Great Sphinx are part of the Giza necropolis. The Great Pyramid is the tallest pyramid and was built in ancient Egypt around 2650 BC. The Great Pyramid is the only remaining monument of the seven wonders of the world. Alexandria is the second largest city in Egypt and is home to five million people. The city was founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC. The Lighthouse of Alexandria was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This is also the location where once the Great Library, which was the largest library in ancient times, was standing. The ancient Pompey's Pillar and the Sphinx are among the best known ancient monuments in Alexandria. The Western Desert has very few plants. The Eastern Desert and the Sinai have thorny shrubs, small desert plants, and herbs. The acacia is one of the few native trees which is pictured here to your left. Around the Nile are date palms and many water plants including reeds and grasses. Egypt is home to many animals such as camels, donkeys, horses, mountain sheep and goats, gazelles, miniature desert foxes, desert lynxes, hares, jackals, and mongooses. 
The Nubian ibex is an endangered species and only few of these gazelles live in the Rocky Mountains of the Sinai Peninsula. Rodents, insects, lizards, and snakes are also common. Many types of birds live in Egypt year round or pass through on their migrations. Sea life is abundant in Egypt as well. Dolphins, turtles, rays, and sharks are among the sea life in Egypt's ocean waters. More than 1,020 species of fish, many in bright colors, and more than 300 species of coral can be found in the Red Sea, which is named among the world's best diving sites. Arabic is the official language in Egypt, but most people, about 68%, speak a distinct Egyptian Arabic dialect. Egyptian, though, is the language that was spoken in the region in ancient Egypt. The first written examples of this language date back to around 3000 BC. Today, the main foreign languages taught at school are English and French. Egypt is a country with an immense cultural mix. Most Egyptians are descendants of the Hamites of ancient Egypt and of those from the Middle East who migrated to Egypt centuries ago. Other groups include the Nubian Egyptians, Roma, Armenians, and Greeks. Life in the countryside differs from life in the large cities. There are differences between the families which are Muslim and the smaller number which are Coptic Christians. There are noticeable differences in the standards of education as well. Children are highly valued in Egypt, especially in rural areas where they help on family farms. Children are also expected to look after their parents in their old age. Egypt is predominantly Muslim, but a large minority of Coptic Christians and other religions make the country an exciting destination for religious, secular, and ancient cultural festivals. Egypt has a wide range of festivals throughout the year, most of which are open to the public. Egyptian holidays range from religious holidays to customary celebrations like the Layet and Nukta, which pays respect to the Nile River, and feasts of art and culture for many of these celebrations, people pour into the streets wearing traditional costumes to enjoy impromptu songs and dance performances and eat traditional foods. The Egyptian cuisine mainly uses vegetables and fruits such as tomatoes, zucchini, eggplants, okra, grapes, and dates, as well as spices such as cumin, garlic, and coriander. Vegetarian dishes are very common in the country as vegetables, fruits, rice, beans, and various grains are commonly cultivated in the country. Pita bread is served with all meals. In the Mediterranean region, as well as in the Nile Valley, fish and seafood are available. Chicken and lamb are the most popular meats, but quite expensive. Kushari is often considered the national dish and is made with rice, lentils, pasta, spices and fried onions and served with a hot and spicy tomato sauce. Dukkha is a dip of dry ground spices, seeds and nuts that are served with pita bread for dipping into the spice mixture. Lukaya is a green soup made with green jute leaves, garlic, coriander and various spices. Kofta is fried round meatballs made of ground meat and spices. Besara Another perfect food for vegetarians is a green creamy mash prepared of parsley, dill, leek, grinded fava beans, spices, green pepper, and fried onions on the top, served with Egyptian bread and green onions. Full madams is one of the most primary foods for Egyptians to eat. This dish consists of lava beans prepared with oil and lemon juice. You can also add garlic or onion if you prefer. Full can be prepared in many different ways, and people eat it with butter, spicy oil, olive oil, tomato sauce, pepper, pastrami, parsley, sausage, and boiled or fried eggs. It is believed that full was cooked all the way back in ancient Egypt. Thank you so much for traveling to Egypt with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And in the comment section, let me know if you've ever had Egyptian food and what your favorite is. And I will see you all next week for another World Traveler Wednesday.